Well, what is up? Welcome to the channel again in the garage. Um, working on a real cream puff. So this one here was in a little uh, front end collision. Um, I wish I would have started taking video uh, before I started straightening some of this out. Cause actually, even when I got this car, it was it was parked down at a at a body shop, and they totally lost it. Um, and that's usually when people hit me. I'm saying, "Can you still fix it and keep it on the road for me?" And I say, "Sure." Um, so, uh, I mean, like the structure underneath, you know, and the apron and stuff, it has damage. It's it's not gonna be perfect. They don't care. They use it as a as a work car, um, just to get to job sites. So I said, "Make it look decent. That's good enough for us, and that's what we'll do." So, but obviously he was hitting this corner and the uh, hood's over there. That joker's buckled, but I should have shown you, but right here, this was actually knocked back and down because you can see where this bracket is to this fender. It was like every bit of probably two inches away from where it needs to meet the fender, but I don't have a frame machine. So we use jack stands and we use a jack and a four by four and gravity and it'll get it. So that's what I did. Um, stuck a four by four under there where I needed it and jacked up and watched it and, you know, put pressure on it and hammered it a little here and there, try to work some crinkle out and help it settle and does the trick. So that's that, I guess. I really can't wait until I get into more exciting builds and jobs. I don't always do stuff like this. This is, you know, just some of the bread and butter. But, um, <clears throat> plus it's my mother-in-law's and I can't tell her no. So, that being said, let's get to work. Let's go see what's going on. Let's see what you got going on here. I need nothing, I need nothing right there. Here, how about I help you? Okay. Let me move it. Okay. Get on up there. It's up there. That's good. See you later. No, because that that wood that's firewood. That's not wood that you can use to get something up on a trailer. Yeah, it's firewood. 
And you don't want to dig around in that, that pile of firewood. Snakes. That's where snakes hide. Yeah, there it is. Alright, well, GoPro died on me. Well, one battery dies, which to knew better. I have backups, but the uh, I only have one memory card and that one was apparently said it was full. So um and then my phone was dead. So I had to charge that for a little bit. So in the meantime, while all that was going on, um I continued to work on the car. So I have the, some plastic pieces over here that are cleaned and uh, sanded and ready. Only thing I got left to do is put adhesion promoter on the two fog light covers. And the door trim piece has been painted before, so no need to do that on that part. Uh, I got the whole car sanded, scuffed, wiped down, taped up. So that's ready to go for base. So I'm gonna throw some adhesion promoter on these two pieces over here. Um, for those of you that are wondering, nothing fancy, right out of spray can, bulldog. Um, that's what I always use. I've never had any issues. So, oh, also, just for you all, got a brand new respirator. Uh, my other one was in bad shape. I've been using it for a long time too. So it probably honestly wasn't really doing its job anymore. So let's get this set up real quick. Oh, that's neat. It comes with a bag to keep filters in now. Cause these charcoal filters that come in these um if you keep them in like open air for a long time it uh, makes them it does they don't last as long that's what i was trying to get at Good to go. Typically with a uh, rattle can, I would have already thrown it on there, but I gotta set a good example for your viewers. So, the heating remoter, ain't gotta go heavy. Just, you know, quick mist over it and it's good. Ain't like trying to, you know, you wouldn't put it on as heavily as you would like if you were, if you were painting. Just put it back. So, while that is drying up, I'm gonna mix some paint.
I'll come back out here in the garage. I finished spraying it like, I don't know, probably like an hour ago. Maybe, maybe a little bit longer. Got out here to look at everything, check it out. Everything's looking pretty good. And then I made my way around to the front. And I don't know why, but fish eyes. Only on one side of the hood. So, you can, I don't know if you can see. I'm sure you probably can. They're pretty bad. Or I think so anyways. But it's only on one half of the hood. So I don't know if I had, I mean, I wiped everything down. I don't know if I had some water contamination get through in the gun, but still a little weird that it's only on that half of the hood. So not likely. Uh, everything else looks pretty good. I mean, the clear slick, but fish eyes on that side and, and that's it. I mean, other than that, you know, all these parts look good. Um, like I said, I mean, this car, I was told it don't have to be perfect, just a work car, but I can't send nothing like that. So, um, uh, we're going to let it dry until we'll give it at least 24 hours to dry, um, harden up. And then I'll give it a wet sand with like 800. See if we can't die down some of these, uh, fish eyes. Um, and we'll go from there. Worst case scenario, everything else looks good. You know, we'll just 800 the hood and uh, carefully, and then probably get away with just doing a re-clear on just the hood. So just showing y'all, giving you an update on it. And uh, yeah, I don't know, but stuff happens sometimes. It is what it is, we'll fix it.